A boy, Lane Frost, is coming to life again, this time in a documentary that gives a look at the real story of the bull rider many call the greatest of all time. Frost was a world champion bull rider from Atoka who died when a bull hooked him in the back after a ride at Frontier Days in Cheyenne, Wyoming in 1989. A few years later, a Hollywood version of Frost's story hit the big screen with Luke Perry starring as Lane in the movie Eight Seconds. That movie made Lane Frost an international name, but his family says it got a few things wrong, and the documentary details that along with many other parts of his life. Tess, you got to watch this two-hour film during his special screening how was it it was amazing and there were about a hundred people there on Sunday night and all eyes locked on the screen I mean I was kind of looking around the room yeah. just to kind of see the reaction of other people and they did not take their eyes off of this film uh, obviously a touching and a heartbreaking story because you know the ending is that Lane dies in that arena in Wyoming they talked with um, cowboys who rode with him some of his best friends um, some of the athletes now who are bull riders who were inspired by Lane and who have learned from him. Uh, it included some of the videos. He had a, a kind of a how-to video on how to ride bulls huh. and that was included and talked with cowboys about how they still to this day watch Lane Frost's bull talk video to learn and how to how to ride like him. That's that's something. Lane's parents, you know, they've been outspoken for years. There were parts of eight seconds that they didn't like. What were those? So um, Elsie, his mom, has always been very open about this. She didn't like the way they portrayed Lane's relationship with his dad. They made Clyde Frost, that's Lane's dad, kind of look like he was never happy, never satisfied with Lane. And mm. Elsie said that was not the relationship they had. Clyde would offer help and suggestions, but he was supportive and always very proud of everything that Lane did. And um, also that he was a Christian. Elsie really wanted that to be included in that story in the Eight Seconds movie, and it was left out. And so she has really has built a ministry based off of that over the years um, since his passing. And she says she appreciates that Eight Seconds got his name out the way it did and introduced people to the rodeo and Western world, but she really, really wanted the message of his Christianity to be shared. The screening you went to is at Reba's Place, the new restaurant there in Atoka. <laughs> why, why at Reba's Place? So Lane graduated from Atoka High School school and was friends with the McIntyre family. I mean, they were a rodeo family. Oh. Lane was a rodeo family. And uh, actually, the screening of Eight Seconds happened 30 years to the day of this screening in Atoka at the theater downtown. Yeah. Wow. And his mom had said that at one point, Elsie, um, or Elsie said that Lane had joked about, maybe someday they'll make a movie about me and Reba and the things that we have done. <laughs> Isn't that something? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're, you're dropping so much knowledge, so many things obviously I've never heard. Was there anything specific that you had never heard? that you found out? Well, the doctor who was there the day at Wyoming at Cheyenne um, who tried to bring Lane back, he talked about kind of the scene at the hospital and what it was like and how long um, they worked on Lane to try and revive him, an mm. hour and a half in the hospital working to bring him back until finally they just, he realized, you know, it's not going to work. We also heard from his widow, Kelly Macy, and she just said that she was, she she approves of the, the documentary and um, um, was just very impressed with the with the story and was proud to be part of it and to share their story which you know if you've seen the movie Lane and Kelly had some tough times in their marriage mm. and she really wanted the message of salvation to get out and how Lane finding God's salvation really helped save their marriage in the end I did want to ask real quick about the producers that was a big part getting this right Elsie wanted to make sure that it was right. What was your impression of the producers, the people who put it together? They said it was a humbling experience and that it helped them grow um, as well just because of the faith behind the 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 production and um, one thing I know viewers are going to ask is hey how can we see this one can we see this well right now it's still kind of being shopped around so not sure if it will be streaming if it will end up in theaters but they're working really hard and I think that as people learn about the documentary um, it will be uh, probably picked up somewhere pretty quickly we hope so thank